gentrification is like a form of colonialism. During the financial collapse in 2008, African Americans lost 53% of their collective wealth. Banks manipulating them with these variable rate mortgages that started them off paying $500 a month. And then five years in, you get a balloon payment of $1,800 and then the house is taken back. In Buffalo, you go to the auction and you buy a block for a couple thousand dollars. You know, you could buy houses for $500 a piece. And then you have people who are selling them for three or $400,000. So now we got this pool of real estate investment sharks swimming around neighborhoods, looking to buy everything that they can. And even the slumlords in the neighborhood saying, well, I might as well get this person out because I know I can get somebody in next month that'll pay two or $300 more. We have had over 2,000 construction projects in the past five years, over $20 billion of real estate capital has been invested. The biggest, most expensive $100 million buildings are not paying in diamond taxes. And so that's created a crisis where homelessness, especially for youth of color, is going crazy. PUSH stands for People United for Sustainable Housing. So we offer affordable housing in the area, which is a huge thing. The most important thing is knocking on those doors to see who has those problems. That's how I got involved with Bush. Our work is to get people to develop communities the way that they want them to develop, that both engages people and involves people, but also works to stop climate change and gentrification at the same time. Mm -hmm.